Okay, here we go. Got the seats done for the most part. Well, at least in their final resting place. So, um, I made a video of the driver's seat, um, you know, before that was done. Um, and this one, I hadn't even started on it yet. But this one, yeah, it, um, it definitely presented a lot more challenges than I was expecting. I thought this was just going to be super easy on the passenger side. Um, but the reason why it didn't is because of this right here. The amount of space in the footwell on the passenger side is vastly different than the driver's side. Uh, and that's because... That's because of how the engine sits. The engine does not sit in the middle. It sits a little bit askewed uh, because of to make room for the front drive line going from uh, the back up to the front. So because of that, as you can see here, um, yeah, there's a lot of difference in space and that really screwed things up over here. And so I'm like, all right, well, screw it. Um, I went and cut out, as you can see there, I cut out the space. Oh, I'm trying to get the phone down in there as good as I can. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, I cut out from. Uh, where is it right here right where my fingers at I cut this out now when it's done I will uh, I'm gonna be putting a little bit of that back in so I don't know if you can see my line right here and then my line right here uh, that's something where I'm gonna be filling that back in along there you know it's my first time doing this with these vehicles and where I thought it needed to be cut out for it to fit right uh, wound up not being exactly right um, you know and you know a lot of this stuff is trial and error and um, yeah there there was a little bit of error here but nothing that can't be fixed so um, I already got those other the pieces up here I got them marked out um, when this whole thing gets TIG welded for the with the cab and, and all that, um, the seat will be out and that'll be welded back in and I'll have that all nice and neat and, and filled back in. Obviously, you don't want to have an open hole into uh, the engine compartment. So, uh, but anyways, um, yeah, everything sits right up against there. The problem I was having was because these seats are a lot wider than the factory seats. And so what that wound up doing was it made it made it to where this passenger seat was skewed like this. So you were like literally facing right about over here. So once I did that cutout, it allowed me to move everything over to where now things are centered up and straight. And as you can see here, both sides of the seat, they're up against the back um, support beam, just how they are with the driver's seat. So now it's nice and straight. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where Sometimes you got to cut stuff up in order for things to, you know, be, be the best overall. Um, I was actually going to modify these support beams, but, and I think I might have said this in the other video, you know, it's going to be something where when I go to put this thing up for sale, when I'm done, that I will offer the, um, 
alteration and fabrication of a different support beam in as as an option when this vehicle uh gets sold because here's the thing is if i was to go and do all that work and uh i was going to use my buddy who's six four as like the the tallest person to fit in here and i was going to do things around him but then it's like okay well what if i do all that work and then somebody that's like under six foot buys this vehicle well then all that work was for nothing so that's when I decided to just, you know what, I'll make it nice and comfortable for me. And I'll just, after the fact, you know, it'll be an option, you know, for me to modify things. Um, so I think that's the best way to go. Because there's so much work to do here that I'm not trying to add a bunch more if it's not absolutely necessary. But anyways, so... Yeah, it's, it's a bummer that, um, you know, the design of this vehicle is the way that it is with the engine being off-centered and the passenger footwell doesn't have as much room. And as you can see on the left-hand side, you know, the passenger leg is going to be, you know, a, a normal resting place is going to be up against, up against the, uh, the metal right there. Um, so it just is what it is, but at least the seat is straight and these things are super comfortable. They're heated seats. Um, obviously electric, but um, there's not, I mean, there'll be a little bit of tailoring, you know, depending on who's sitting where as far as how straight you want the seat back to be and, and all that. But it's not like there's really much room for a lot of adjustment. Uh, so it just, it is what it is, but these seats are amazingly comfortable. Leather's really easy to keep clean. The Audi seats are very durable and, uh, they're heated, which is really important in the winter time with leather, leather seats. Uh, and one thing I will be doing on the air conditioning stuff down here. So that very, very bottom piece, I'm going to have, um, some like medium density foam a little piece on that um, because on that corner there because even though it's plastic and stuff uh, you still don't want to be banging your upper shin against it so that'll be something I'll put there and it's a little little simple things like that because um, nobody wants to be in a vehicle and, and getting it banged up when you're bouncing around off-road or even just moving your legs around as a normal human so uh, I forget exactly where it was uh, the other video I haven't really watched it's been forever so I don't really know um, I think I had all this stuff done here with the driver's seat but anyway so I made Oh, that's right, because I talked about the color and the painting it. That's right, I remember. So, yeah, whether this is just that t that color because it's um, in the sun and, and faded, if it was like this to begin with, um, don't know, but whatever. Anyways, and so under, under there, uh, yeah, I got the, um, that two inch, right angle bracket um that was so it was each each side was two inches i'm trying to think that might have been three sixteenths steel uh, that i did that with and so that is anchored in there quite well it ain't going anywhere um let's see it's this stuff right here oh i guess it was I guess it was a, a quarter inch. I got some more here. Now yeah, the tag's not on here. Yeah, that might even be that might even be quarter inch. It might be, but it's at least three sixteenths. Oh, and um, yeah, I got this painted. I'll get a new. The new ring up here, that thing was rusted. I just painted it so it wouldn't look so ugly for now. Um, but yeah, so this thing, 
I got the air cleaner for oh, what did I get that for? 150 or so. I got lucky because these things are damn expensive, and it wasn't all beat up. Um, it just looked really trash. Um, I got the got the rubber for that right there, and that rubber is actually still nice and soft. So that that'll go back on there. Um, yeah, it just it just looked really trash, and it just took you know cleaning it and stuff, and then uh, some repainting, and you know I mean this stuff doesn't need to be perfect. You know it's not like I'm entering in a damn car show. Uh, so where like I said, I got it for probably 125 or 150 dollars shipped with tax. Uh, totally worth it because of how much these things normally go for. And um, in my other video, uh, I showed where I had the, the K&N air filter. And hell, that thing was, I paid as much as, just for the filter as I did for all that housing. I think I paid 150 for that filter, but I mean, that's a lifetime filter. So um, you, just, you just wash it and go. Anyways, so yeah, that's, that's the seats and, and what I did. Um, you know, I mean, things things came out, things came out really good. Oh, I got to take the seat belt off of that. So that's, it's not all mounted down yet, but all the holes are there. It's all ready to go. Um, there's no need for me to 100% finish it off like I did the driver's seat because I still have, I still have that section there um, where I I have to fill that in and uh, all that needs to be welded and and whatnot. Um, but you know, that's, um, that's just how it is. So there's, like I said, there's no need for me to finish it yet, but it's all done. It's all done up to the point where it can be so far. And then when the, I'll, I'll make that plate in there to fill that back in. And then, um, it'll all get welded when I do the roof. Anyways, catch you next time. Oh yeah. And I always forget to ask people to subscribe. That's such an important thing, and I literally forget every single time. And now I'm at the end of this, and there's probably only two people that watch these to the end. So, anyways, next time.